So all of us use mapping applications in our day to day life. For example, Google map and the same Google map I have opened in my system right now, which you can see over here. And I have searched Manhattan and you can see there are some additional options out there. One of them is nearby. I can click on nearby and I can click restaurants. What this search is going to do is that it is going to show me restaurants near Manhattan. This kind of search is called geolocation search and something very similar we can do with MongoDB. In our MongoDB, if we have geolocation data, we can do geolocation search. And in this particular video, we are going to see how to perform geolocation search in MongoDB. Now, before we go ahead and see some examples, we need to understand GeoJSON. What is GeoJSON? So the GeoJSON is an RFC which you can see in your screen right now and it talks about GeoJSON format and it talks about how we can use geolocation points to you know depict position, point, multipoint, polygon, multipolygon and many other things. If you want to have detailed understanding of GeoJSON, you can look into this particular RFC. You can just Google GeoJSON RFC, you will get to it. Now let's go ahead and see how MongoDB does geolocation search. For that, MongoDB has given a sample data set called restaurant data set, which you can download from this particular link. Okay. I have already downloaded this particular data set and I have already created a MongoDB document from that particular data set. And incidentally, it has lots of restaurants in Manhattan, New York area. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So here is my MongoDB compass. I have already loaded this particular data and you can see some data is coming with coordinates. And this is the GeoJSON format in which this restaurant data is present in my database. Now, before using any geolocation search, you need to create an index called 2D Sphere Index. So go to index, create index on location field, select 2D Sphere. 2D Sphere because you want to search geolocation on Earth, which is, you know, spherical in nature. That's why you will create 2D Sphere and the index is created. Now I have my index created, I can do geolocation search, okay. So now this Morris Park Bake Shop, let me copy this and let me search this in Google Maps. It will be there somewhere in New York. So yep, this is the place not very far from Manhattan. So this is my Morris Park Bake Shop. And I know the geolocation of this, which is this lawn lat okay minus 73 and 40 point something minus 73 point something so let's assume that we want to search something you know which is one kilometer from this particular geolocation point which is this morris park bake shop okay and how we can do that in mongodb we can do that via multiple ways first is dollar near so here is how i am gonna write the query for the same the query will be you know, location, dollar near with geometry type of point, these coordinates, these coordinates are of this Morris Park Peak Shop. Minimum distance should be 10 meters, maximum distance should be 1000 meters, which is one kilometer. And if I go ahead and run this particular query, you will get, um, you know, output, which is actually sorted order. Okay, nearest to, you know, farthest. And if you go ahead and let's say, you know, uh, we want to search some geolocation, which is called Antivari Pija. Let's try to search this in the Google map and see if it is, you know, within that particular, you know, 1000 meter or not. So in the Google map, uh, let me search uh, direction from here, Morris Park Bake Shop to Lat and Lawn is this. Okay, let me search. Well, here it is and it is 0.4 mile. Now, when you are doing this particular search in MongoDB, it is not, you know, searching the path to it. It is just the distance, the 2D distance. But in case of geolocation search, you should always use near sphere because dollar near is just kind of simple distance search 
near sphere will take care of the properties of the earth so if i change the same query as near sphere uh, s will be capital you will get relatively similar results but the search this time is more accurate because of near sphere similarly we can you know search this particular point or let's go ahead and see the last point 900 park and this is 40 uh, this lat and this is long and you can see that this is the farthest point it is 0 0.2 mile as of now so this is the farthest restaurant till 1000 meter in terms of near sphere okay now this is one of the simplest search you can do with geolocation in mongodb but there are various scenarios that can you know emerge for example we want to search within a particular area can we do that you know we know that we need to search something which is in city range okay so suppose you want to search a restaurant within an island you do not want to catch a ship to reach that restaurant you want to you know have that in walking distance can this be done yes this can be done and it can be easily done i will show you a website called geojson.io okay you know you can create an area over here and you can get the polygon parameters in the form of geojson in this particular website so since we are targeting manhattan let's go ahead and you know zoom on to manhattan so somewhere here so this is manhattan okay so in here we can have polygon area or multi-point area or rectangular area let's consider rectangle for simplicity so i am considering this particular rectangle okay so these are my coordinates for this particular rectangle and if we want to use this in our mongodb query here is how we can use this so that we can query all the restaurants in our restaurant database in this particular area so what we will do we will go ahead and change this query as this so in here instead of calling near or near sphere we are calling geo within as the name suggests geolocation search within an area and in this case of polygon we can actually you know pass the parameters over here and we can copy the parameters from this geojson.io control c in here control v and find you will get lots of restaurants let's randomly search one of the restaurant with this that long point so in here uh, let me go back to you know normal search and i will search this latitude and this longitude let me see where it is so here is the point let us zoom out and see which area this belongs to so this is the area and if we go ahead and see geojson it's actually fall in this particular area the you know rectangular area we have created now let me talk about center sphere this is also a widely used search and this is all about from a point you want to search everything within a particular radius that's why it's called center sphere for example from that morris park peak shop if i want to search all the restaurants within the 10 mile radius here is the query i am gonna give in this i'll remove this and i will provide this so basically we are searching location geo within center sphere from the morris park peak shop lawn lad i want to know everything within 10 kilometer radius so i will do 10 by radius of earth and when I will trigger the search, I will get everything within 10 mile radius. You can go ahead, use Google map to validate whether this is indeed within the 10 mile radius or not. Just use, you know, any uh, result like long to validate whether the output is correct or not. So this is all about basics of geolocation search with MongoDB. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. We will definitely meet again until the next time we meet. Good day. Goodbye. You take care.